Okay, so this is a shout out Mitch. I'm gonna give you a quick demo of how I use TweetDeck. I basically closed everything out. All I've got is my home uh, feed here. Notifications, again, notifications is when someone mentions you. For for example here, Brian Bennett put at Ken Bauer there. Uh, well, looks like he did it again. Uh, some other people say might have retweeted something or favorited something I did or added me. We've got all these options of what happens when uh, when somebody does something and it appears in our notifications feed. So I'm just gonna come down here and expand this. Another thing to know about TweetDeck, you can either use the application if you're on, um, I'm on a Mac OS, so there's an app in the App Store, but you can uh, just open it up in a web browser, any web browser, and it saves all your settings. So if you go web browser to app or, or whatever, your your uh, all of your columns are the same. So I'm going to add a column here. So let's add a column. What are we going to add? We could add notifications or home. They're already there. Um, we could add just mentions. It'll just show the mentions. Um, but what I want to add is possibly a list or followers or a message. But here's an even easier way that I find. What I do, we can do something like this. If I click on this hashtag, FlipCon15, that's the exact same thing as if I say searched on something so I could search on flip class it'll bring up a search on flip class either I'm looking for tweets or users um, probably not really interested I guess the users are people that talk about flip class so that's interesting I knew I learned something new today but if we're looking at tweets it's showing all of the latest tweets about flip class and there's a bunch of options here you, you could go into I want all the tweets in any language there's all sorts of filters you can do there but I don't bother with those details. Let's just hit the add column. So I hit the add column down there, and now I've got a column up here. And anything that gets posted by anybody, because I didn't put any filters on it, using that hashtag flip class is going to show up there. Now my other guess is I could do something like, let's find Kristen Daniels, because, well, we just had a conversation with Kristen. I think if I click on Kristen, I can add, uh, uh, I don't think I can do it. Let's do a at ka daniels and click on that brings up chris uh kristen here i could look at the user details but what i probably want to do is i want to see when that person's mentioned so let's click on mentions and i and now it's showing a search of when kristen's being mentioned by other people so i could add that as a column actually and what that shows is a plus at K Daniels and so any anything that comes in across the, the pipe with Kristen Le mentioned is right there so I, if I really was interested in what Kristen's working on today or she's giving some seminar or course or she's just being particularly amusing today we could follow what Kristen's doing so there's that um, that should be enough to get you going there's all sorts of fun stuff you can do like creating uh, uh, having multiple accounts inside your tweet deck you can do fun stuff with that um, but I think that's a good start for now. So shout out to Mitch for asking for this and uh, have an awesome weekend.